In the opening scene, a group of adorable baby raccoons frolic freely inside their cage. Suddenly, a menacing figure known as the High Evolutionary approaches their enclosure. As he reaches out his hand, he singles out one raccoon in particular, none other than Rocket himself. In the present day, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill, Rocket, Groot, Nebula, Mantis, Drax, Kraglin, and Cosmo the Space Dog, have taken refuge on nowhere and established their headquarters there. Peter has been drinking himself unconscious as he grieves the death of the original Gamora, and Nebula has to take him to his room. Meanwhile, Kraglin and Cosmo are testing their telekinetic skills and developing a rivalry. Kraglin has been practicing utilizing Yondu's arrow with his fin, but he hasn't quite mastered it. Flying through the depths of the cosmos, the being known as Adam Warlock, created by the sovereign high priestess Aisha, hurtles towards nowhere, colliding with Rocket. The Guardians immediately launch into action, but chaos ensues as Adam tears off the head of Groot, he's okay, though, and sets his sights on Rocket. As Peter and Mantis scramble to help the gravely wounded Rocket, Drax unleashes his fury on the Golden Man. However, before Adam can deliver the final blow to Drax, Nebula intervenes with a swift and deadly strike of her blade. The med pack Peter is using on Rocket isn't working and is on the verge of killing him until Nebula tells them to remove it. With nowhere left in shambles, Adam retreats into the vast expanse of the universe. While the Guardians hurriedly carry Rocket to safety, he suddenly experiences a flashback, reminiscing the time he was subjected to heinous experiments by the High Evolutionary. Rocket, then known only as 89P13, was unfortunate enough to be locked in a small cage with three other unlucky animal test subjects, an otter with cybernetic arms, a peculiar walrus with wheels for legs and a technologically advanced white rabbit. Though hesitant at first, Rocket saw comfort in these unfamiliar creatures and as they welcomed him with open arms, he finally felt that he's not alone anymore. The Guardians discover that Rocket's body contains a kill switch that could potentially detonate if he were to undergo surgery. They deduce that Adam was sent to retrieve Rocket and Nebula learns of a passkey that could override the kill switch from Orgacorp, the corporation responsible for his experimentation. Unhesitant to save their comrade, Peter steers the Guardians, on a mission to Orgacorp. At the Arate lab on Counter-Earth, a meeting takes place between the High Evolutionary, Aisha, and Adam, a team that has worked together for years. With creations accounting for entire races across the universe, including the Sovereign, the High Evolutionary's accomplishments are of great renown. Adam is given the task of fetching High Evolutionary's most valued asset, Rocket. Upon Adam's return empty-handed, the High Evolutionary seeks to punish him until Aisha pleads for mercy, viewing Adam as her own son. As Thiel receives direction from his master, the High Evolutionary reveals his knowing of the Guardian's whereabouts. While approaching the Orgoscope, the Guardians gear up to make their way through the shield. In the midst of preparations, Peter confides in Mantis regarding his estrangement from Earth since being abducted by the Ravagers. Peter expresses uncertainty about the fate of his grandfather, the only person he would recognize if he ever returns home. Suddenly, Ravagers storm aboard the Guardian's vessel, led by Stakar Ogord. Much to Peter's surprise, the alternate Gamora has joined them, and she has been secretly communicating with Nebula. With a complex mission at hand, Stakar equips the Guardians with spacesuits and cautions them to avoid detection by Orgocentries. All of this to uncover essential data about Rocket from the company's records. In yet another flashback, Rocket's incredible intellect shines through, which is precisely why he held such a valuable position close to the High Evolutionary. He had also watched the construction of Counter-Earth, where High Evolutionary was sending his completed experiments. Rocket was astonished as High Evolutionary showcased a marvel of a machine, meant to push the boundaries of evolutionary stages in certain animals. Alas, these experiments of his had led to nothing but horrid monstrosities that lacked a functional psyche, resulting in their ultimate disposal. To everyone's surprise, Rocket had figured out the intricate protein structure of the organisms they had been experimenting on, a solution that no one else could have conceived of. The Guardians make an intense descent onto the Orgoscope, with Peter determined to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Gamora. However, 
His efforts are swiftly rejected due to the fact that this Gamora is not the same person he once knew and loved. Before long, they have to hide their spacesuits in the wrong place and end up being discovered by the fierce Orgocentries led by Master Karja. Despite this, the Guardians are able to keep up their charade of being employees and split up into pairs. Peter goes with Gamora and Nebula, while Drax and Mantis make a formidable team. As they search for Rocket's file, they end up crossing paths with an Argo employee named Yura. The Guardians force her to divulge the location of the records, but are quickly pursued by the Orgocentries. In their attempt to fight off the guards, Drax and Nebula are hit by Karja's shots and severely weakened. Despite the odds, Peter is able to convince Yura to help them. He gains access to their systems and turns off the artificial gravity, causing the Orgocentries to lose their leverage and giving the Guardians the chance to make a quick escape back to their ship. In a flashback, Rocket daydreams about being free with his animal friends. During this reverie, they name themselves, Lilla, the Otter, Teefs, the Walrus, and Floor, the Rabbit, before Rocket decides on his own name, having been inspired by a rocket soaring overhead on Counter-Earth. Later, the Guardians watch a playback of Rocket's file, which details the brutal treatment he endured at the hands of High Evolutionary. Although the video doesn't provide the passkey they need, memories of the code are implanted in Thiel's head. Peter insists on hunting down Thiel to retrieve the passkey, but Gamora initially rejects the idea until Nebula reminds her that they are all family, and they will do whatever it takes to help each other. As the Orgocentries meet with Aisha and Adam, they bring in a captured Ravager and his loyal pet, later known as Blurp. While Aisha urges Adam to interrogate the Ravager for crucial information on the Guardians, he unleashes his formidable powers and electrocutes the captive, much to Aisha's dismay. Suddenly, Gamera's message crackles through the radio, alerting Aisha to their coordinates and their next move. Meanwhile, Adam takes a curious interest in Blurp, the strange pet of their prisoner. In a chilling flashback, Rocket accompanies the High Evolutionary to witness his latest experiments. Possessing a genial outlook towards Rocket's protein suggestions, Evolutionary had finally managed to construct more advanced creatures. The High Evolutionary belittled Rocket, treating him like a failed experiment, before incinerating the perfected creatures. The Guardian spaceship lands on Counter-Earth, a planet that is surprisingly similar to Peter's home. The inhabitants are humanoid with animal-like features, and the group quickly learns that they are not exactly welcome. Unfortunately, Drax doesn't make the best first impression when he throws a ball at a child, and the group is bombarded with garbage. However, Groot saves the day by transforming into a giant creature, scaring everyone away. After Peter helps a bat woman, the Guardians are invited into her home, where they receive help on their mission to find High Evolutionary Station. The family even lends Peter their car for the journey. The crew eventually makes it to the station, where Peter is escorted inside by High Evolutionary guards. In one final flashback, Rocket recalls stealing a device to help him and his friend escape from their cells. Tragically, as he and Lilla embraced, High Evolutionary fatally shot her as punishment. Overcome with grief, Rocket unleashed his fury on High Evolutionary's face, disfiguring him with his claws. In the midst of the chaos, two of High Evolutionary's henchmen appeared, but Rocket swiftly killed them. Unfortunately, they had already killed Teefs and Floor in the crossfire. Heartbroken and alone, Rocket fled, mourning the loss of his friends. As chaos ensues on Counter-Earth, the vile war pig, under the control of the High Evolutionary, launches an attack on the Guardian's ship with the intent of taking out Gamora and Rocket. As war pig tries to pull Rocket in, Adam comes upon her and tears off her head. Meanwhile, Peter faces off against the High Evolutionary himself, enraged by the villain's horrific actions against innocent lives. However, it quickly becomes clear that the madman has no intention of stopping, instead opting to destroy the planet and start anew. As the once beautiful world is torn asunder, Adam desperately tries to save his beloved Aisha, only to witness her ship be obliterated before his very eyes. Outnumbered, Peter and Groot stand their ground against High Evolutionary's henchmen, fearlessly jumping out of the window with Thiel. However, Groot, with his superhuman abilities, sprouts wings, 
allowing him and Peter to stay afloat as he drowns Thiel and snatches his memories. The Guardians hurried back to their ship, racing against a backdrop of destruction as the planet imploded behind them. However, the chaotic events saw Mantis, Drax, and Nebula transported onto High Evolutionary's vessel, while Peter, Groot, Rocket, and Gamora managed to arrive safely back on their own ship. In the midst of all the tension and conflict, Nebula took out her frustration on Drax, blaming him for their current predicament. Despite this, Mantis was quick to rush to Drax's defense, well aware that he had a habit of doing silly things that often landed them in sticky situations. Peter, Gamora, and Groot frantically race against time to use the passkey and save Rocket who finds himself in an ethereal realm. As Lilla, Tiefs, and Flora appear to welcome him to the afterlife, Rocket is almost ready to accept his fate until Lilla reminds him that he still has a purpose left in life. They share a fleeting but passionate kiss before Rocket comes back to the land of the living and warmly embraces his comrades. As they receive a transmission from Nebula, the Guardians discover that High Evolutionary has been experimenting on a large group of captive children. They hear Rocket's voice over the radio and are overjoyed to know he's alive, but their celebration is short-lived when High Evolutionary captures them. Peter leads his team on a daring mission to save their captive friends and reaches out to Kraglin for assistance. Drax's ability to connect with the kidnapped children in their native language is heartwarming, and he even manages to elicit laughter by being his silly self, just as he did with his own daughter. Alongside Mantis and Nebula, the trio face three fearsome abelisks, but with Mantis' psychic powers, the beasts become their allies in the upcoming battle. While Kraglin and Cosmo strive to bring the ship and nowhere closer, the High Evolutionary's army attacks. Fortunately, Kraglin's encounter with a vision of Yondu galvanizes him to use his heartfelt desire to propel the arrow, allowing him to annul the High Evolutionary's drones. As for Cosmo, she uses her telekinetic abilities to take down a henchman. When the High Evolutionary's minions rebel, he vaporizes them with his powers. Upon regrouping, the Guardians are reinforced by the arrival of Adam and Blurp, resulting in an epic showdown with High Evolutionary's army that leaves no survivors. Thanks to Cosmo's incredible powers that she manages to take the ship closer to nowhere, allowing the team to rescue a group of children before taking them to safety. Meanwhile, Rocket comes across a pack of adorable baby raccoons, along with other animals in need of help, and begins to work on freeing them. Unfortunately, High Evolutionary catches up with him and threatens to end him once and for all, insisting that he is merely a failed experiment. But Rocket refuses to back down, reminding him of his true identity and determination to fight for good. As the other Guardians burst onto the scene, High Evolutionary gets a serious beatdown before Nebula tears off his face, revealing the horrific disfigurement that Rocket inflicted on him. While Rocket chooses not to end High Evolutionary's life, they don't bother offering him a helping hand, instead leaving him to die in the explosion of his ship. Rocket does, however, manage to free the other animals, but Cosmo's powers give out, leaving Peter stranded in space where he nearly perishes from the harsh cold until Adam rescues him and takes him to safety at nowhere. As they regroup at nowhere, the Guardians share one last moment together before going their separate ways. With Gamora set to continue collaborating with the Ravagers, Peter decides that it's finally time to return to his place of birth, Earth. Meanwhile, Mantis expresses her desire to venture out on her own to uncover what she truly wants for herself. Mantis turns down Drax's offer to join her on her mission, preferring to go alone. Nebula suggests that Drax would be better suited to taking care of the children, given that he was always meant to be a daddy. Meanwhile, she will take charge of nowhere. In recognition of his leadership qualities, Peter passes his title of leader to Rocket, who will head the next Guardians of the Galaxy team. Although Peter and Gamora acknowledge that they can't be together, they still share some flirtatious banter. Once the group parts ways, Rocket is given Peter's Zoom device, and he proceeds to play, Dog Days Are Over, for the inhabitants of nowhere to enjoy and dance along to. In the mid-credits scene, Rocket and Groot lead an epic team consisting of Kraglin, Cosmo, Adam, Blurp, and the orphan child named Phyla. As a horde of enemies approach, Rocket plays, Come and Get Your Love, leading them on an electrifying adventure.
Meanwhile, in the post credit scene, Peter and Jason exchange heartfelt words over breakfast as they discuss Jason's stepson from his second marriage. The final text shows that the legendary Star-Lord will return. Today's recap was packed with excitement. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.